We're about to take a look at Peter Thiel's book, Zero to One, and it's specifically important business tips before you get started with your startup or become an investor in top startups. Hello again, startups and investors. My name is Ross Blankenship. I'm the founder of Angel Kings, which is a venture capital firm, and I've invested in some of America's top startups. I want to share with you investors as well as startups an inside look to our course and, and, and a review on a book called Zero to One by Peter Thiel. So this is a book called uh, Zero to One that addresses more or less the the, the core essence of, of creating a startup and why the startup ecosystem is sort of twisted and why we need to rethink the way that we build startups. Peter Thiel, who's a founder of, of PayPal and investor in some cool companies like Palantir Technologies, um, really gets a, I mean, this book was uh, designed and, and, and elaborated on a, a series of lectures he, he did at Stanford University. And, and what we like the positives of the book and that it makes you rethink the way you're creating a company. The fact that you shouldn't just try to create a clone or you need to rethink the whole process. And, 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 and by the way, the second thing we like is the fact that creating a startup isn't, you shouldn't just create a startup to have a startup. You should create a company that, that carves its own niche, that creates its own mold, its own fabric in society. I mean, those are the, the next billion dollar companies aren't just going to be a clone of a clone or you know, some sort of thing that's in vogue. It's going to be something that completely capitalizes on an old system and reinvents it in a new way. I love the way he thinks as a revolutionary uh, and, and a visionary for the future. Okay. And frankly, I love the fact that in less than 200 pages, he teaches what many people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for and get an MBA. Um, look, if you are an investor at Angel Kings, we give you this book. I mean, I think that it's part of our philosophy at Angel Kings is to find awesome startups who don't just try to clone a model, but try to carve their own space and try to reimagine an entire philosophy. So I think in less than 200 pages, that's what this book accomplishes. Frankly, I read this book in just a few hours and I think you can too. So as anything, as we've said in other reviews uh, through Angel Kings, you've got to understand that uh, there, there are, you know, the book's not perfect, okay? Um, although we do rank it five stars, it is perfect in our our my our our eye, our our eyes plural. Um, there are uh, things that it could improve. Okay, so very simply, um, I think that it needs to have better visuals, um, you know, more graphics because not everybody you know can read it. If you you know through a startup whiteboarding process, I think they could create more graphics and visuals. Secondly. This isn't really a negative, but uh, I wish it, you know, wish it could have been longer, so to speak, um, in the sense that I'd love him to do a follow-up book uh, that, that addresses even some of the, 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 the newer companies that he's investing in. Um, now, that doesn't mean I didn't like the fact there's less than 200 pages, but I would like to see something that follows up to it. Overall, five out of five stars, top in class, great book. Listen, whatever book you read, whether it's our book, Kings Over Aces, uh, whether you're a startup or, or an investor, I wish you the best of luck and uh, you know, go build something cool too. I'm Ross Blankenship signing off. If you want to learn how to invest in America's next top startups, the next billion dollar IPOs, go to angelkings.com backslash invest.